Hello, hello, it's Vero, and we are back in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And we've gotten a little bit more than that. We have not really penetrated anywhere south from here. Still have that minefield, still thinking it might be fun to try and get a shocker brute to run through it. Now, this begs the question, and I'm not sure I've ever actually checked this. Does the minefield describe the entire section? Like, okay, I'm not in it yet. Still not in it. I'm now in it. I'm now not in it. So yeah, the entire chunk or tile, greater map tile, is defined by this minefield. So potentially I could... Uh, do I have, I have quick, I have fleet footed. If I keep my stamina up, I might be able to pull a shocker boot brute in here and get him to murder himself on mines, which, oh no, Stacy! <coughs> <coughs> I vacuumed right before the episode, so I probably kicked a bit of dust into the air, like a numpty, but I, my mother-in-law's coming over to see my wife as she sings in her choir tonight. So we had to get the house prepared because it's the adult mature thing to do. And unfortunately, despite enjoying playing video games quite a bit, I have grown up also quite a bit in the last few years. Not on purpose, mind you. Sometimes it seemed there were no other options. There's nothing wrong with it, obviously. But okay, so. Who wants to come here that I can handle on the off chance? Are you guys all heading down south, chasing something? I'm totally down for you to keep doing that. Is this all the dogs you've murdered or something? Coyote and dog corpses. Okay. There's a hazmat. There's a shocker, Bert. Okay, so you are down this way. Uh, well, this is... You guys are essentially clearing out my little area so I can go play around here. Got a Rottweiler. I'm gonna. That guy's been just around. I'm gonna take him out. Yep. You are dead. You're a dead Rottweiler. Oh, thank you. Please come back to my room. I've got my own song in my head. Which I guess is good. It means that it was a catchy enough song that I caught it into my own head. Ooh, mail carrier hat, mail carrier shirt. Those are great. Those have storage. And oh, it's not locked. Glorious. Ooh, alarm clock. Food though. I mean, I'm here for your dehydrated fish. <gasps> Vodka, bacon, cola. Everything you need for a good Saturday night. Um, obviously, in real life, I don't drink, but theoretically, that would make a good Saturday night. You coming then? Oh, you died on my duffel bag, you grimmer. Uh, let's pick up that and smash you. And go check out, oh, some solder. Uh, ooh, leather pants. I could get a fedora. I mean, oh, wait, no, I'm wearing I'm wearing something with actual real protection right now, aren't I? Vinegar. Nope. Okay. Disinfectant and ambient. I'll take that. Broom. Not so much. This doesn't seem to be a lot of zombies around this neighborhood. I assume they've all gone off chasing uh, canine things. Let's smash that out. Okay, there's a lot in the city itself. I'll take your shotgun, sir. Uh, I will not take your precious metals. Because they're heavy, really. That's the only reason. Um, oh yeah, this is that ridiculous place with the... Uh, is this the one with the sweet basement? No, this is the one with the crappy basement. 
Uh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Let's drop this duffel bag. Let's wield a crowbar. Did I not bring my crowbar? Ah, yeah, there it is. Drop it. Hello, sir. Beat you to death with a crowbar. It was good fun. Can't see how you pulp a skeleton. Very concept seems absolutely bizarre to me. coming towards me right now. It is a fat zombie. Is it just the fat zombie then? May have gotten distracted. What the heck happened over here? What the heck happened over here? That is a lot of rubble. Um... Anything in that rubble we can see? Metal wreckage. Oh, wow. That's a nice looking car. Uh, the acid zombie appears to have... Nope. I regret everything. Holy crap. Wrong. Holy crap. Now we run... Crap. Now we run more. Holy crap. Keep running. We're heading home. Let's get some stamina back. Yeah, zombie child, you can come hang. My god, that was terrifying. Oh, that was horrible. I'm a psychopath, aren't I? Oh! I'm not at all upset about murdering that child-shaped zombie. That is amazing. Oh, I love being a psychopath. Okay, so that uh, shocker brute did indeed sneak up on me. And I am not happy about it. Um, it's still quite early, so let's keep heading out. <laughs> Have to be a bit safer. Maybe stay to the outside of the houses until we are sure we're not about to get jumped. Yes, yeah, stand on the bush. Stand on the bush, idiot zombie. Give a crowbar. I've already got one of them. I was hoping you would have an axe for me. Okay. Thing around here seems fairly okay. Oh, am I still running? Let's uh, let's catch our breath properly. Yeah. Mm. Oh yes, that lovely storage facility with nothing. You okay, this is where. A little place like this is great because they can only really come in one at a time. Still did me some damage, but you mess up my clothes? No, not really. Do I have any aspirin? No. Some cola though. I've got some uh, cola, some vodka. I got some apple cider. I'll have a sip, sip of that. Ooh, okay. Some nice stuff in here. Ignore all further distractions. They're not coming through the wall. Right, where's my duffel bag? No, it's fine. What is the point of telling you to ignore all further instructions if you're then going to ask me when there's further distractions? 
I'm going to try this guy even with my encumbrance. Once you get your dodge a bit higher, like I think now that my dodge is two, let's see what my encumbrance is saying. It's minus dodge skill minus four. So now I need to still take off my uh, pack if I want to skill up dodge at all. Okay. Take the jeans for cloth. Oh, oxycodo. That's a bit intense for the. I mean, I'm in a lot of pain, but I don't want to take anything that's too addictive. I absolutely don't want to be in there. Ooh, under the hood. Tough zombie. That's fine. Biscuit, cornmeal. Okay. Refillable lighter. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. It is only noon. I'm still doing okay. I would like some aspirin. I really don't know why I haven't brought any with me. There will have been some around. We're going to knife spear. And if I need to, I will run. We're definitely running. Uh, yes. That is garbage. There should be a safe way to pulp. Okay, that is garbage. I, I really think they need to fix that bit. There needs to be a safe way to pulp acid zombies. Oh, you're coming for me? Fine. Get on up here. Anything? Nope. Okay, let's stop running, catch our breath. Gonna need to rest a lot tonight. Zombie dog, uh, I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna see what's over on this side. Where's that zombie? Stabbing you through the fence is my favorite thing to do. Hope you die before you break the fence. Or before I break the fence. That's fine. Uh, 10 wires. Sure, I'll take 10 wires. Do I have a mutagen recipe yet? Not yet. I need some more interesting books. Come down around the outside of this house. Maybe avoid... Oh yeah, I've been through here. That's right. Disgusting stuff everywhere. Which means I've been to the bottom house as well. Now I could try to make it all the way to the periphery of this and just get an idea of what is in this town. Food. There we go. Pain is starting to go down a bit. Decayed zombie, zombie child. I think I'm... Like threading the needle here. No, the decayed zombie's coming for me. Anyone have aspirin? Nope. Ooh, but you do have stuff. Yeah, vinegar. We'll leave the hockey puck. Don't need a robe. Take your USB drive and check your basement. Uh, I've already got that book.
What's in here? Uh, some booze. Take the whiskey. I need to move that cursor. It freaks me out every once in a while. I'm like, what is that? Oh. Yeah, it's my cursor. Hmm. Don't need to be worried about that. I'm in control of it, after all. Um, fried seeds. Uh, a bunch of zombies, not worth. Okay. Now we are running away. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm running away. Run, 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 run away. Da -da -da -da. Long string. No, can't have that. No. Okay, um, honestly, not a not a terrible haul, but we need to get better at things. Um, right now, I'm not feeling like we're really progressing as quickly as we need to be to be able to break into this town anytime soon. Now, I've still got access to water pretty easily, so I don't think that's going to spend the spell the end of the run just yet. But gotta think to the gotta look to the future. Happy to have some disinfectant. Can I take some aspirin. Oh, those dandelions are so old. Oh, I shouldn't have picked them. Should not have picked them. Okay, sada sada. Just food, really. Food and other. Okay, maybe I should make some food. What can I make? So, dandelion tea, really. Nutrition one. Wench 48, enjoyability too. So it's, it's a slightly more enjoyable form of water that's basically loses one total thing uh, in order to be generally more palatable. How much of that can I make using just normal water? Yeah, 18 of those, sounds good. Really? Wow. Okay, that's terrible. Wonder how many dandelions I wasted and how much water I wasted there. Dandelion tea. Oh, I must have wasted all of my not clean water. Somehow making dandelion tea. That's fantastic. I didn't know you could even mess up boiling leaves. Okay, twelve vegetables. No, dandelion. Just seeds or tea, huh? Okay, so let's make some deluxe scrambled eggs with dehydrated meat. Yeah, one of those will do. Use the reptile eggs. There we go. So I need to take my. Time to go on a water run. Gonna hit up a crap ton of toilets and steal a bunch of water. Now, eventually, I would like to make a well, and what do I have to do to do that again? Fabrication for Survival 4 Mechanics 2. 
that is all doable. Um, the mechanical pump is a bit of an issue, but I'm guessing I'll get that from mechanics for it. Why don't we read very quickly under the hood. Do you give me makeshift welder? That's good. These days I have to check everything because I never know now what they're going to have changed since the last experimental, what they're going to have rebalanced in terms of putting in a different book even. Um, piercing weapons, that would be nice to have. Marksmanship 1, definitely nice. And first aid 2. I think I've already got first aid higher than that, don't I? No. And anyway, let's drop all this for now and go get a crap ton of water. So what we need is a metric crap ton of water. Uh, I don't, I don't prefer to get uh, imperial crap tons. I just think metric crap tons are are a little bit better. Let's get that dude out of my line of sight. Is this the one that has a shocker brute in it? It might be. Uh, I do remember now that I did drag a shocker brute out to this part of town. So maybe this isn't the uh, area I need to be in. Zombie dog, zombie dog, zombie dog, doing whatever a zombie dog does. Haven't been in here. It's pretty. Bloody boomers. Is none of these a bathroom? Not in the mood. I'm trying, just trying to find some water. Oh, the deer got stuck inside the uh, inside of the vehicle. That's kind of sad, actually. No. Utility vest. Yes. Ooh, that looks like a horrible book full of burnable pages. Not for reading, only for burning. Okay, where is the bathroom in this house? Must be this one. Ammonia, multivitamin, thread. Yeah, take all of that. Okay, zombie dog. What's that? Oh, that's a turkey. <laughs> I thought maybe it was something else. Okay. That us get them jug, glass bottles, glass bottle, glass jar, plastic bottle, that's it. Water did I get? Ah, not a full amount in the canteen. Do I want to hit up one more house for one additional water? Not really. Four additional water? Not really. Not good return on time investment. Rather get home, make myself some dandelion tea. For all my dandelions go bad. leaving doors open like a chode okay dandelion please I'm just gonna start with one and I'll drink it nice now dandelion obviously I need fire 
Uh, let's drop all this water off anyway. I don't need to carry it around. Pick up anything else while I was out there. Phone book. Doesn't really need to go in the book section. Let's wear that utility vest. Uh, we are going to take off the duffel bag for the time being. So what are we looking at in terms of volume? So I can carry around five additional volume without having my uh, duffel bag on, which is pretty pretty okay. Dandy. Nope, not dandy. Dandy. Let's just make four in a go. Pour into a container. And again. Okay, cooking is increased to two. Okay. Tainted bone meal. What's that for? Tainted bone meal. Tainted tallow. So I can now start collecting tainted fat. That's pretty good. Mutagen. Hey, I want to make mutagen. Okay, uh, I can settle down. Settle down, me. I can make mayonnaise. Oh, with horseradish, really? Seasoned salt, cooking oil. Okay. Now, why can I not make fried dandelion leaves? Cook dandelion greens. There we go. How much dandelion do I have? If I come over here and I say, I want to eat. Did a bunch of it rot? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, time to do some experimentation. Uh, I'm going to pick up all of the good dandelions. And we're going to move them. And then we're going to see if I can still make dandelion tea with rotten dandelions. Is the game going to let me exploit it? Just check real quick. That's all the dandelions. Let's move this out of vision. Are you going to let me make dandelion tea with uh, rotten dandelions and then happily drink it? I'm boiling it. It's probably safe. Try four. Now, eighteen twelve four. That was what was there. Two eight four. And what have I got to drink? Do I have rotten dandelion tea or just normal dandelion tea? Where are you, dandelion tea? Dandelion tea is fine. I can make dandelion tea out of rotten dandelions, so that is fantastic. Let's do that again then. Dandelion tea. That is the number of dandelions I have there, so. Okay, let's start with less than. Pour into container, pour into container. And yes, not touching my still good to go dandelions. Just confirming that. Dandelion tea. Pour into pot. That's a bit weird. Uh, pot of dandelion tea. Luckily carries eight. No. Um, so 
I should have some empty bottles, or nearly empty bottles. Other. Uh, the stomach, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with, unfortunately. Okay, no, not yet. Um, so, best bet here is probably to boil up that water. Oof. I'm just going to have to wait till I drink some of this dandelion tea, aren't I? Well, that's fine. It's 7.15. Let's read. Let's read some under the hood. I wouldn't mind getting my mechanics up. And it's now dark enough. I'll probably go to sleep. Let's heal on up. I'm going to have my own tea right now, which is a, uh, a rooibos chai, if you're interested. So kind of a masala spice mix with uh, red bush leaves. It's quite a nice little bit of tea. Oh uh, boy, yeah. It's time to do something with this meat. Can I dehydrate it? I need a charcoal smoker. Can't make that yet. Charcoal cooker. Yeah, I could make one of those. Need a two liter metal tank. I can get that off of a motorcycle, motorbike. Pilot light, I can just take apart in the oven. Uh, meat, what else can I do with meat? I think at this point we're just going to lose some meat, aren't we? Um, not much to do about that. Don't have a dehydrator. Can I make a dehydrator? Seems unlikely. No. Need a tainted tornado, please. Tainted tornado. It will still poison you if you eat this. Good to know. Let's eat, drink, and be merry. Uh, we're going to focus on things that go off soon. Well, these chunks of meat are also going off soon. Can I make sweet bread? I don't think I can. Uh, we will cook all the meat. And I'll start four. Yeah, good. OK, excellent. It did prioritize the hot meat. I mean, the old meat. Mm, pot of dandelion tea. Let's just drink from that. Okay, it is 4.58 in the morning. How long have I been recording? About half as long as I'd like. Just check real quick to see if I've got any news of when my wife is bringing her mother home. No word yet. Okay, we're going to continue to do some reading until the sun comes up. And then let's read in actual light. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have got soldering irons. Um, what it's time to do is to start getting batteries out of things. So anything that has a battery, you come in with me. I have to unload you. I want to know how many batteries I have. We'll start a pile of things that are going to get discarded. I think this is all. No, this is duct tape. Ooh, that's good to know. Arm warmers, you're in the wrong spot. All of you guys are in the wrong spot. Uh, hmm, I don't want to pick it up. I think it gets funny sometimes when you pick those things up. Okay, so. Oh. I am going to keep one of the soldering irons loaded. And hopefully we're going to see if we can do some repair. Well, we'll keep the flashlight loaded too. 
cell phones. Okay. So drop any electronics we're not going to need over here. Oh man, we're going to keep these. Not that. Not these three soldering irons. Not the radio. Not the cell phones or the ink tablet PC. The rest of this, let's actually reload the vibrator. Sealer. Flashlights. Drop the empty matchbook in the brazier. Now, can I take everything apart? Disassemble everything once. Okay. Glorious. So now, can I soldering iron? Can I repair my knife spear? Don't reinforce. Okay. Can we please fix this? There we go. The knife spear is back to good. Let's make some more meat. Oh, use the rotten stuff, huh? That is a shame. Do I have any more rotten meat in here? Okay. All rotten food must go. I should do that every day, really. And then also in my own house, I should do that every day. Go through the fridge and just, is there anything rotten in here? It should not be here. That would be responsible, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do six. What? It went rotten since I started cooking. Okay, that was garbage. Now there shouldn't even be any old stuff, so now it should work. Oh, that was garbage. Just wasting charges. Okay, full slaked. It's slightly afternoon. We don't need to go out yet. Still have books to read, things to discover. Let's, any change to what we can create? Can we make a charcoal something? No. Can we make anything interesting? So what can we make that we can't make? Disinfectant. That is a ways out. Uh, reinforced solar panels. Nowhere near. Crucible. Yeah, I could make that. I just need a charcoal forge. And I could get that stuff pretty easily. Blade, not anywhere near yet. A pot. And a lamp oil cooker. How do I make a lamp oil cooker? So I make lamp oil. That does not answer my original question. Uh, metal tank. Just need, really, just two scrap metal and a makeshift welder. Makeshift welder. Uh, I would know I've got the recipe for it, but maybe I need to read the book a bit more. Fine, back to reading. Okay. And more reading, yay. Not going to get through the book before it gets dark, though, am I? Oh, so close. Oh, I did. 
<laughs> and this meat is about to go old, so let's eat it. I have some dandelion tea. Now, now I should be able to make a make shift welder. There it is. And I can already make it. Difficulty two, skill level three. Yeah, let's do it. Makeshift welder. So now with that makeshift welder, I can make a great number of other things. But before we do that, let's reload it. Now I can make a metal tank, which means I can make a charcoal cooker. Uh, how many rocks did I get thus far? 29 rocks, which means I'm 11 rocks away from making a kiln. And then I am basically uh, just a very, small, actually, one second. Can I make a, another kind of thing that allows me to cook with this? Thought I could. I should make myself a bed. I've got everything I need to do it, except for the fabrication skill. I don't know why it's giving me the option since I don't have the fabrication skill, but... Um, charcoal kilns or smoking rack. Smoking rack is what I was told you could use to basically uh, cook. So that would be good. It's actually really cheap. I just need to get my fabrication up to three. Where is my fabrication? Just hit two. Okay, so that's a bit garbage. So skill fabrication. I want is something grindable. Definitely don't need a crap ton of those. I bet they burn though. So. I kind of want to do some science and see the difference between burn times. Like if I take a heavy stick and I burn it in the brazier, how long will it burn for? If I instead turn it into a die staff and spindle, ah, well, for science. Die staff and spindle, heavy stick. Okay, so we're going to grab a heavy stick, drop it in here, and light it on fire. So it is now, let me write this, let me write some stuff down. It is 20, 37, and 48 seconds upon lighting. Unfortunately, it's only in six second intervals. Now, I'd like to do something with this, but obviously if I do something with it, I won't be able to time it. And right now, I just want to know how long it will burn for. We're already up to about 10 minutes. Heavy stick. Be fine if I accidentally overdo it a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just gonna rapid key it for a second until we get closer. Uh, okay, this uh, this dice staff, this uh, heavy stick is lasting. So far, it's lasted half an hour. Uh, I'm just holding it down. Science. Science. Okay, I can just hold it down quite a bit longer. Wow, this thing burns for a long time. Oh! Is it out? No, it's a small fire. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't realize it would do that. Okay, let's 
Little fire, badly burnt, heavy stick. My gosh, this thing burns forever. So it is very close to two hours now. I wonder if two hours is the time. We'll know if it is at 22, 37, and 48 seconds. What do you think? No, okay. <sighs> okay. Ah. Okay, we're gonna call it more or less 22, 44, 36. Let's eat, drink, go to bed. We'll burn more in the morning. Things I do for science, I tell you. Um, let's eat and let's drink and be merry. Okay, so I'm going to drop it over here. Just get to sleep and we'll see about doing another little bit more science when I wake up. And then I think it's going to have to be the end of the episode because I'm hearing my wife get home right now. Okay, I am awake. Let's eat, drink, and be merry. Um, deluxe eggs. And a meat pizza. Some tea. And then we are going to try the same thing with the die staff and spindle. So this time it is 05, 21, 24 seconds. We are going to light this thing up and find out how long this thing burns for. I'm guessing considerably less time. Uh, just to check real quick, if it were to be the same amount of time, we'd be looking at let's see, it's two hours, seven minutes, essentially, that a heavy stick burns for. So we'd be looking at 7.30ish in the morning. Yeah, I know, I'm wasting fuel. I know, it's not like it's not abundant. So, cooking time and light time wise, how much am I wasting if I make a bunch of die staff and spindles? Which is the fundamental question here? So far, nothing is being wasted. Okay, so the fuel is gone. That was pretty much exactly the same amount of time. So, note to self, if you want to grind up your fabrication, make die staff and spindles, because you can just burn them as if they were heavy sticks and there is no fundamental change in how much light and or cooking time they provide you. Anyway. That was my little bit of science to close. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know. Uh, otherwise, just take care of yourself. Have a good day. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be out before the Easter vacation, but probably, in which case, if you're in some part of the world that celebrates Easter holiday, uh, give a thought to Ishtar. Give a thought to the, uh, to the Zoroastrian pantheon, if that's your fancy, or you can make it all about Jesus if you like that, or you can just enjoy chocolate. Either way, Take care of yourself. Have a good day. You will hear me when you hear me.